All right, this is my Ardu Pilot Rover project, and uh, since I burned my GPS unit uh, about a week ago, I decided to try to program the obstacle detection uh, software on my Arduino Mega board. Well, as you can see, running an Arduino Mega, a parallax ping sensor for now. I'm going to implement the uh, parallax uh, mesmic dual axis accelerometer later for judging tilt angle. But for now, we have ping sensor connected to this jumble of wiring. Sorry, I couldn't get it any neater than this. But uh, what happens is if you look down here, I have my receiver on the side of my chassis with ESC on top and what happens is the receiver signals go into these two relays these are dual uh, single pole double throw relays so that in normal off mode I have full control of the bot via RC this is simulating the autopilot giving waypoint navigation to the bot because as I said earlier my autopilot is waiting to be repaired with the new GPS module alright so what happens is the Arduino Omega reads the ping sensor input if the ping sensors not input output the ping sensors output is less than 40 centimeters it disconnects my control over the bot and implements a set of parameters that I am still working on but in theory this should disconnect the Arduino pilot do a set of maneuvers to get it out of the situation it's in and then allow the Arduino uh, the Ardu pilot to take control back over so all I'm gonna do is I have my TQ3 that I'm running just to simulate uh, autopilot input and what I'm going to do is drive the bot into a wall now as this does ping sensor should detect it oh I'm getting interference okay um, Pink sensor should detect it. Stop my actions like it just did. Check both sides. Oh, it worked beautifully. All right, let me explain what just happened. What it's set up to do is, like I said, whenever the uh, pink sensor detects something closer than 40 centimeters, like say my hand, it checks left and right, judges which, well, actually, it checks left, right, then center, judges which one has the most open path. And turns towards that. So, well, chassis sitting all caca. So, let's try that again. I'm going to just drive it into a wall. Like I said, I have full control right now. See, turn. And I'm going to just drive it head on into this fountain. And takes over, shuts down my control, implements direct reverse. Now, in something like this, I have to code, I guess, uh, a different set of parameters for something directly in front. Because I could just keep going forward. It's going to shut down the control. I just keep going backwards until it, I guess, runs out of battery. Or maybe, no, there's a slight, okay, I get it. There's a slight turn in the rear wheels, which is actually helping it. And now it's sensing that there's something to the right, but okay. This is where the accelerate accelerometer will come in handy, so it doesn't freak out and try to climb something if it can't see it. Uh, accelerometer should judge tilt angle and then act upon whatever I want it to. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is just version two of the software. Version one was not working right, so hey, look, it's actually working. All right. Um, this is just version 2 of the software. There will be many revisions, I can tell. And uh, I'll just keep you posted. All right.